hello welcome to my tutorial today's video will focus on how to solve some numerical problems on chi square test for independence please note that the objective of chi square test for independence is to determine if there is a significant association or relationship between two categorical variables that is test for independence simply assesses the presence or absence of a relationship between two categorical variables let's take a look at hypothetical example of test for independence suppose a researcher is studying the relationship between a plant species which comprises of species a species b and c and soil type also comprises of sandy loamy and clay soil to determine if there is a significant association between plant species and the type of soil they prefer. The researcher sets up plants in different areas, records the number of plants of each species in each type of soil, and obtains the following data. These are the data the researcher obtained. And remember, the objective is to determine if there is a significant association between plant species and soil type. Now, to do this, they will conduct a chi square test for independence. Here is how he will proceed. He will first formulate hypothesis. No hypothesis states that there is no association between plant species and soil type, while alternative hypothesis states that there is association between plant species and soil type. Before we proceed to calculating expected frequencies, and contribution to Kai. Please guys, if you are new in this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Thank you. We we'll use this formula in calculating expected frequency. That is the row total. So we're expected to total all the rows, right? Times column total. Also total all the columns. And then divide by ground total. So for the row total, 30 plus dex plus dex. 50 plus this plus this, 20 plus this plus this. For the column total, 30 plus this plus this, 40 plus this plus this, 30 plus this plus this. The grand total can be gotten by adding up all these values or by adding these values 100 plus 80 plus this or 90 plus 100 plus this. Gives us this value because we have three columns that is sandy, loamy, and clay soil, and also three rows for species A, B, and C. So we are dealing with three by three contingency table, which results to nine cells. Having said that, so we are expected to calculate expected frequencies and contribution to chi for nine cells. Firstly, we we'll calculate expected frequencies. For species A and sandy soil, say row total for species A, the row total is this value times column total that is for sandy soil. We have 100 divided by the grand total. Remember, we got 250, so 90 times 100 divided by 250. So we record it here. We use this formula to calculate contribution to chi. Firstly, we calculate contribution to chi for species A and sandy soil. Looking at our formula, we could see observed frequency. So observed frequency for species A and sandy soil will have 30 here. Following our formula, we have minus expected frequency. We just calculated the expected frequency for species A and sandy soil. Following the formula, we have R square divided by expected frequency. So 30 minus 36. So minus C square divided by 36. We also record it here. Let's also proceed to calculating the expected frequency for species A and loamy soil. For species A, the row total is 90, loamy soil total is 80, then divide by ground total, which is approximately 29. Contribution to chi for species A and loamy soil. Using our formula, the observed frequency for species A and loamy soil minus the expected frequency for species A and loamy soil, we get 29. R square divided by 29. Expected frequency for species A and clay soil. The row total is 90 times the column total. 
and then divide by grand total. So then this half, we have 25. Contribution to chi for species A and clay soil, the observed frequency is 20 minus the expected frequency, which will get 25, all square, divide by 25. Now let's calculate the expected frequency for species B and send this side. Growth total is 100 times the column total divided by ground total and that gives this value. Contribution to chi for species B and send this side. The observed frequency is 50 minus the expected frequency which we just calculated all square divided by expected frequency which is approximately 3. Expected frequency for species B and loamy soil the row total is this value times the column total over grand total. Contribution to chi for species B and loamy soil we have 30 as the observed frequency minus the expected frequency which we calculated as 32 all square divided by 32. Expected frequency for species B and clay soil. The row total is 100 times the column total divided by gram total. Contribution to chi for species B and clay soil. The observed frequency is 20 minus the expected frequency being 28 all square divided by expected frequency. Expected frequency for species C and sign this side. We have 60 as the row total times column total divided by grand total. Contribution to chi for species C and sign this side. Because the observed frequency is 20 minus the expected frequency being 24 all square divided by expected frequency. Expected frequency for species C and Lomi side, we have 60 as the row total times the column total divided by grand total. Rounding it off, we have 19. Contribution to chi for species C and Lomi side, we have 10 as the observed frequency minus the expected frequency being 19 all square divided by 19 expected frequency for species c and clay soil the row total is 60 times the column total divided by ground total rounding it up gives 17. contribution to chi for species c and clay soil because the observed frequency is 30 minus the expected frequency all square divided by 17. Next is to determine chi statistic. We use this formula to determine chi statistic. This symbol simply entails summation or addition of all the values of contribution to chi. That is 1 plus this value plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this lastly plus this. Gives this. Let's determine degrees of freedom. We use this formula to determine degrees of freedom. Number of rows, of course, we have three rows minus one times number of columns minus one. Three minus one gives two times three minus one again. Two times two gives four. Now let's find the p value from chi distribution table. This is chi distribution table, and our alpha is 0 0.05. And by calculation, the degree of freedom is four. So we trace it then to 0.05. We record it here. Now let's compare chi statistic with our p value. Since chi statistics is greater than p value, we reject null and accept alternative hypothesis and conclude that there is association between plant species and soil type. If this video is really helpful, please do well to like, leave an amazing comment, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.